do so. Three, two, one. Let's get it on K2 with the power stand straight spears. I wonder how Frost is going to react to that. The twin blade? The Frost twin blade. What is happening? <laughs> what am I looking at, Frost? He's out of control. That is no so No spin cool. slash allowed, though. Spin slash is not allowed on twin blade? Really? I did not know that. Yes, because the hyper armor. People don't Interesting. Like it. Now, K2 actually is running the, looks like a, the the lightning drake talisman, it looks like, or the holy one. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, I don't think Frost is running Yeah, that is a little. Here. Yeah, maybe oh, they just. You know what? I think it's the lightning one for the spark aromatic. Oh, interesting. I don't that's even know if that's cool worth idea. it, though. I mean, I feel like a talisman's slot is... I don't know. This He's in the match. I mean, it looks fairly <laughs> even so far, but uh, the buff has already worn off uh, on Frosty's weapon here. Let's see. The running attacks are very fast and tricky. Um, I actually think that Twin Blades have some of the best end-of-match attacks. Oh, Ugh. was that bleed? Yeah, it's, it's no, a no, bleed no. twin blade. It seems. Okay. Yeah, that, I, believe, I believe that was bleed. They got stunned. And you see, Frosty's actually running the uh, the Lord of Blood's exhortation, so it's almost definitely bleed. Wow. Oh, look, there it is. Got bleed right there. I, I told you. See, twin. Look at it. K two versus Frosty. Three, two, one. Let's go. I believe that is the. Oh, he swapped again. I can't remember what exactly what it's called, but that is the it's the one that gives you the little spin move. Oh, oh there's actually rolling. back rolling! Oh no, Frosty just get the menu now! Oh, there we go, okay, cool. Oh my gosh, man. A uh, bloody heel is what it's called. Thank you for that, uh, Doc Joel. I appreciate it. So the bloody heel is what that weapon's called. It's been a while since I played all the ring. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah like... go to Armored Core. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love Armored Core, it's fun. Anyway, speaking of this video game, you're actually seeing the dual Nagi Kibas coming out. Now that is a terrifying setup to fight against, especially with the crouching L1. See, Frosty is actually doing a lot of crouches here, looking for that crouching L1. And the jumping L1, actually. Range, yeah. Most likely, range. these things are both blood infused. Because again, Frosty is running that Lord of Blood Exaltation. You are not allowed to have Spin Slash on Nagakiba, though, either. So mm -hmm. that's a big deal with those weapons because Spin can Slash you run, is tremendous. Can you run Sword Dance on them? Because Sword Dance is another very, very powerful option on Nagakiba. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Well, there you go. See, we're seeing these, these crouching L1s do a ton of damage. Good lord. Wow. Goodness. You cannot gracious. run Swaddling Cloth, though. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. I mean, it doesn't look like Frosty needs it with this health differential. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I mean, the range on the jumping attack, I think, is underestimated with these. Oh, oh wow. He L1? tanked the hit. How did he do that? That was crazy. All right. Well, yeah, K2, one hit away. One. Popping on that. It looks like red for the branch sword. Hoping the tear skip Frosty, possibly. Ooh, the and running, the running two. attack. Dabbing him right in the belly wow. button. That must have hurt. Three, two, one, and let's go. K2 with the dual dual lances right now. That's interesting. And the glintstone scrap, trying to get Frosty to stop being aggressive. But oh my god, it does Frosty stop. didn't Frosty. care. Just Frosty does not care. give a heck about that. Good lord. Oh, and the spinning slash. slash. Oh, and the wow, bleed, bleed truck. Yes, that wow, was that bleed. Was really Holy Frosty, crap. a big arcane fan, as we can see. Wow. Look at that. Using a lot of bleed and frost and just a ton of really cool. Stats effect build ups here. Yeah, let's see if K2 can get the vortex happening. K2 is not out of this match at all. Although I do think spinning slash is a huge deal with the with this oh, weapon. That, so we'll that's see. poorly due by Frosty. Look at that movement. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Ooh, trading hits with a power sense great speed. You definitely do not want to be doing that. Oh, and the running attack and the blade oh. for the kill on the Wagasashi. I love I losers now, finals three two. One fire. Indeed. Now, last time we saw these two players, Raz kills just kind of dominated Frosty. Ooh, we're seeing the. Was that. Was that crab? I think that might have been crab for the uh, damage reduction. <laughs> Frosty used. Yeah, using some Ooh. poison and. You know what it could have been? It could have been, a, it could have been a dried liver to get more bleed resistance. That could have been it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because look at Raz kills' talismans. They got the poison build, build up resistance talisman and the bleed resistance talisman. That's really smart by them. I like that a lot. Yeah, that is. But what are they missing doing that, though? What, uh, what great shield talisman, ritual sword talisman, something like that. It, it's not okay. really that big of a deal, honestly. Oh, the hyper armor. Ooh, there it is. Barbaric War coming to play again. Gets caught with the sword dance. Back? What is it? I can't believe people are pressing R1 when someone's back is turned. It's actually blowing my mind. <laughs> Seriously. It's the frosty it's like... Some, something about Frosty just makes you want to backstab him, I guess, you know? Especially when you have power stance, great or uh, um, straight swords. It's 
pretty crazy. But Frosty swapping again. He's all over the place. Jumping attack. Ooh, with the ants for rapier on on the left there. That's interesting. Now let's see if they can actually get the uh, the poison the proc. I don't think I don't think Raskas has used the bolus yet. No, he has not. But their bar must oh, be huge. They... I didn't realize that there's a third hit on that. How is that not a trade? Ooh, the swords dance. Frosty coming in for a punish. I Rest would like kills. to see an R2 there, but... Oh, there, th is that bleed? They rolled the bleed proc, I think. They are deadly they, poisoned. No, though. they, they are rotted and poisoned, I think. Both. I think it, yeah, it that, might be look both. Look at that health go down. The tier has proc. The Frosty does not have theirs anymore. The answer rapier is here. It's online. What Again, another doing? frosty tech. The frosty tech. Did I'm telling you, it only happens to frosty. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah, not giving him any space to get out of here. Brilliant. Frosty. There's, I mean, there's that... a star fist. Ooh, all the pokes. Wow. Beautiful spacing by frosty. Look, the they're not even pressing stick. the B button. B. <laughs> what are you? Doing? What is Don't play happening? On Xbox. Oh, but I just, I just see that. Wow. All right, let's get it on. Three, two, one. Look at that. There we go. With the dual not keep us coming out from Frosty. That is a very interesting build. And there's another dual one with the same strategy for Eskos going for it. It looks like the uh, the white. I believe it's the white liver. The white dried liver, something like that. But but you know better than me. <laughs> <I don't laughs> Give like them a liver. ton of status resistance. If I've never had liver, it'd be fun to eat at some point. <laughs> it's I've never gross. had it. Really? Well, never mind then. I won't yeah. have it then. <laughs> anyway, talk about the actual match. Talk about relevant things. There's a. I wonder if I like one of that. Frosty's weapons is poison because we see off the uh, the is the kindred rot exaltation oh, there. Yeah, a good spot on that. Hmm. Ooh, the starfish coming out early this time. Ooh, I do like I actually that. like that. Although Frosty's spacing with the starfish is like out of control. I can't believe it. Mm. I don't know how he's taking zero damage on some of these. Like, it's blowing my mind. Frosty is just very, very good with their movement. It, it, it's hard to explain. That, that there if, it you is. Ever, if you ever played against him, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Frosty is just an insane player. Yeah, I mean, it, it is amazing. He is taking a little bit of chip damage here or there on the first hit of it, but he's not getting stunned for any he's combo not. potential. Very I, slow, very methodical match. Oh, there it oh, is. As I said, as I say that, Barbaric Wars online. Oh, Ooh, it's the unsheathed. Okay. What I was spooky. waiting for that. Now that would do a ton of damage if that does actually connect. And the uh, the unsheathed uh, R one is also very powerful and very good as a roll catch. So let's see if Frosty can hit one of those. I mean, Frosty just knows the range he can get and not get clipped by the running attack, which is crazy. He's, mm -hmm. I mean, he's getting hit by one of them sometimes in the mix. Not baiting, uh, not biting on the R2. Yes, of the uh, Star Fist here, the War Cry. I wonder if uh, if Rascos is close to a bleed proc or not. Oh, the R2! Oh, the R2! And that was the R2 vertical that one. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot more than the uh, the horizontal one, the R1. And that looked like it was unlocked too, because that. I don't think that gets that type of. Uh... Wow! Oh, look at that! Is that tier proc? Yes, it is. Rascal's tear has been procced. The movement of Frosty is so spastic. It's very, very strong. It's probably his best trait as a player is just his movement. If, if Rascal's can somehow back Frosty up into a corner, he might be able to do some. Oh, all right. Both tiers are popped now. A little bit of a mistake, but I like actually the pre-attacking. Could have spammed there. There is no threat of hyper armor right now on Rascal's mm. side. That's actually a big deal right now at the end here. Definitely could have gone for another attack. Oh, Rask was actually jump. running. Rask was actually running the uh, the blue feather branch sword, trying to get, make sure they live another hit. Though I believe they are real close. We haven't seen a single bleed proc as far as I know. Uh, yeah. so they should be very very close to a bleed proc here. Oh, he went for the unsheathed what and just that? got blasted. Oh, it's oh, just nice spam. Rascals with the nice spam there. I actually like that. Oh, oh, Frosty going for the unsheath, but it's not fast enough. Yeah. I am counting you down. Three, two, one. Let's go. It is time. And he's sticking with the katanas. Doesn't punish. Oh. Actually gets punished. Wow. Oh, that was unfortunate. 
Frosty, I think, made so, maybe sort of an inventory area. They were on the uh, Blue Feather Brimstone for a bit there. Oh, Ooh, the missed mid. the Iron Sheet. That's so unfortunate. That would be a huge swing in to, to try to even it up. The pressure by Raskills. Brilliant here. Raskills really showing off their rad skills. Oh, I'm depressed. All right. Um, <laughs> so Frosty is down. Oh, Frosty finally gets a hit here to try to even it up. Frosty doesn't have many ways to relieve the pressure here, except, you know, properly rolling. But again, the way Rascals is playing, when he gets on the inside, he's just rushing down, and it's very difficult for Frosty to, to get any footing. They're far away, sort of trying to figure out. I like the pre-attack there by Frosty. Almost gets punished. Pretty good rolls. A little bit of panicking. Oh, the back step into Unsheath. That would have been fancy. It would have been very, Rascals. very fancy, yet. Rascal's is a little bit too well versed in the trickery of Frosty, apparently. Uh -oh, and we have Barbaric War online. We're actually, ooh, yeah, Venice Fang is here. Barbaric Wars again. We have two very. Oh, never mind. They swapped to Power Sand Straight Swords. That was a very quick swap on the side of Rascal's there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> we don't know what Frosty is doing next, really. A twin the Twin Blade, blade is now. here. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that's a, if that's the Freezing Mist Twin Blade. Oh my god. He's I, all I over the place. I love seeing players pull out a weapon and then swap back to the original setup after so many different swaps. I think it's the funniest thing ever. Basically, it's just like, it's like a weird roulette wheel, and then you're just back to where you started. Well, who? Who you? I don't even know what that. What is that called? It's, it's the it's the blood pot. It, it builds up blood. That's a it's what. Uh, this is wild. That this was is a crazy. long match so far, though. I mean, not it not is, yeah. as much has happened. And Rascals has yet to be hit. We might be seeing a re a redo of Winter Side, honestly. With Raskill, is just, yeah. again, just being very aggressive, but also timing the rolls perfectly here. Ooh, there's a hit. Frosty is not able to capitalize. Oh, oh they nice. They read the Barbaric War. That was so smart of them. Yeah, that was brilliant. Oh, Frosty's making a couple errors and rolling right now. Nice crouch attack. Cannot get the double crouch. L1. Oh, my gosh. This damage coming out from the side of Raskills. That does so much. The Starfist. He's lightning yeah, if you start I mean, this. Just I, I'm running loving them down. the aggression here by Rascals. Frosty's getting run over by these start these lightning few starfish that's doing just again a ton of damage. And here's the S stock coming out to hopefully try to finish Frosty off. Can See, Rascals do it or will there be a last ditch effort by Frosty? I love the aggression. Anti air. Oh man, this guy trying to pivot and hit early on there. And health. 10 health, last ditch, maybe trying to go for a tier skip here. Maybe. If they can get a jumping L1 off, they could possibly And it's skip. rolling by Frosty. You don't see that very often, but the, the, the... Oh, oh, oh! Come back! The comeback no. aggression. Rascals versus Frosty. Three, two, one, fire. I mean, honestly, Rascals has been playing really well and just got caught in a couple things that made him lose that. I mean, mainly it being three minutes and lost the health deficit we're at the see, end. We're seeing this matter come back as well from Frosty. I wonder if this is the spinning slash one. And we also see it looks like off Wakazashi, so that might be a bleed infused Wakazashi as well, which would be devastating when it comes to bleed. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely bleed. I, he's been all about that right now. Mm -hmm. so I, I will the say, they're, they're, they're still running the Kindred of Rot exaltation, so I wonder if it might be uh, maybe a poison infused Wakazashi or something like that, because it's just. I wonder why they have the Rot Exaltation on. Getting a lot of ghost hits here right now. Keeping the pressure, though. But the gr great equalizer. Oh, there's the bleed! Oh, there's the bleed! A big health advantage for Frosty here. Oh, my gosh. What's the damage boost on that? I believe it's 15%, I believe. Something like that. Something crazy. I, I, know, it, I know it's very, very strong. Uh, the Kindred Rod Exploitation, I know, is like 20% or something crazy, and it's to, like all weapons, so even like your elemental damage. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, so that's a big deal, although he's he's been getting out aggressed here by Rascals, which is actually really smart. Rascals not even allowing Frosty to get on the inside. Mm. Swallow like Pull-Off would probably be a good idea if I was Rascals. Getting definitely. a lot of ghost hits. I do really like this uh, this patientness from, uh, from Frosty and the spin. Ooh, and the vor that slight vortex there. Yeah, we, we haven't seen spin to win yet uh, with spin slash, so we'll see when, if and when he brings that out. There it is. Oh, hey, look. Wow, that said. timing. Oh, oh and the bleed proc, too. That's so dangerous. Yeah, oh, that's my. crazy. Oh, my gosh. 
We're going to go for two R1s instead of the Wakazashi as as was per normal. Mm -hmm. Really mixing it up here. I, I very much like that from Frosty. Frosty swapping their, uh, their Kindred Revolt to a, a Millicent's Prosthesis, by the way. It's very interesting to me. Going for more damage there. Wakazashi putting in work. Oh, Frosty oh, actually making a misstep it's there. Not Getting hit over twice yet, by an one Oh, Shibaraskis has to be close to a, uh, another blue Deirdre proc. Pop. Very, very close. Ooh, yeah, Frosty just fishes that bleed. With the There's the bleed! Wow, and Frosty takes tough. the set, and look at that. The Bevan versus Frosty. Three, two, one. Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting in that it, maybe this is to the benefit of Frosty. Uh, this is also a different arena, by the way, thankfully. Oh, that's two hits immediately by Bevan on Frosty. Frosty it obviously has people would consider a bad setup, but the crouch attack of the Reaper is actually rather good. It's pretty fast. You can turn it, get early hit. The poison mist coming I, out on the side of them. I mentioned poison mist now to keep out earlier. Poison is definitely very, very strong here. Just for that pressure build up and also the Kindred of Rot exaltation, which actually both players have equipped right now because Bevan, knowing that Frosty wants that uh, wants that poison build up, they want to have that damage boost for themselves as well. Look at this. Look at the vortex happening right now. What was that? Excuse me, Bevan wow. has no, Bevan has so little health remaining, and they're also poisoned. Oh my god! I Beautiful. like that Frosty is. See, Frosty is attacking, which is what you're supposed to do if you're having a problem getting out of uh, the vortex. Frosty's doing a good job rolling here. Oh, couldn't get the trade, but the spam. L yeah, again, attacking at a hit stun. When you're when you're when you. When you are considering your opponent's probably going to be rolling out of way or doing a defensive option, but doing an offensive option is so important. It's so it's so good to catch them off guard like that. Especially when we're doing something like bleed like Frosty is, because again, we haven't seen Bevan Bowles a single time. And there's the bleed, bleed. as I talked about wow. it. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. the roll catch. He's panicking. He's panicking. Couldn't Beautiful roll catch. Benefit. Ooh. The crouch attack misses. Oh. Ooh. And there's the, again attacking the aggression. Hit stun. The aggression crouch attack. And what? The, Wow, L1 Frosty. from deep. Counting this down. Three, two, one. Let's get on to the second round of Grand Finals at Festival Champions North America Edition. The Sacred Blade coming out, not connecting the Frosty, though, and the Poison Mist on Nagiba is coming out. See more of these L1s from Frosty oh, here. there it is. Going for... Was that bloody? There's no way that was bloody slash. What was that? Mind games by... Wow, he can't get the anti-air there. Jumping R2, Frosty, you insane. I love it. Yeah, I mean, that it does have pretty good range. Ooh, there's that, there's that poison build up. Oh, that. Wow, Ooh, there's the, the bleed. bleed. Oh, my God, I can't watch what Dante. Wow, that range. What is happening right what now? What is I... going on? This is insanity. Frosty is playing out of his mind right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that ra Three, two, one, fire. Man, um, Frosty turned on the juices that one. And, uh... Basic, how did I get, how did they not get hit by the Sacred Blade there? They were just barely out of range for it. That was somehow magical spacing. <laughs> oh, there Ooh. it is. There it is. Oh. The speed. Bevan is stuck in this situation where he's looking for roll catches. I think Bevan needs to just chain hit after hit after hit because Frosty is attacking out of hit stun a lot. Yes, indeed, exactly. Ooh, there's not keep up. There's not oh, keep the again. The, oh, they, they rolled, rolled the bleed up. proc. Yeah, they rolled the bleed proc. Which is basically like a, a free bolus if you think about it that way. There it Ooh, is. I, there you go, as we talked about, if you think Frosty's going to attack a hit stun, just do it again. Yeah, he's, so he's chaining two, and then the third one he's waiting, which is actually really smart. Oh, the blue! But they almost they, equalize it, but uh, oh, the Frosty goes down. Three, two, one. Let's get on for the fourth round of this Grand Finals. Wow, right How out does of range. that keep missing? What is happening with the Nagakiba? Getting that bleed build up, range. and also the poison build up as well. I think you can chain L1, R1, and constantly get poise breaks. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I believe so too. And the step in on Reaper R1 is really, really nice. That's going to help out a lot here. Ooh, Ooh how is that a miss? Oh, 
Oh, the anti air. Oh, the bleed, though. The equalizer. Exactly, it exactly. Oh, oh, so much spam. damage. Oh, Frosty exerting so much pressure just by standing next to their opponent. The tier has been bleed. procced. Oh, no. He procced it. Wow. How did he get bleed again so fast? The Reaper actually has a lot of bleed build up on it. Look at this. At a hit stun right there, he just attacks. Anti-air. Double Ooh. hit. I wonder if they had the stamina to do the third one there. That could have actually been really big. Ooh, and there's the third one! Anti-air oh. death! There oh. we go, Ben. I will do just that. Three, two, one. Let's get it on for round five of Festival Champions North America Edition. Frosty just going in with the claws. Ooh, Ooh Venomous Flames are here. Swat, switching it up, I like it, I like it. Going for the Barbaric War, that makes sense, because now you have the third, a third option here. You have either attack at a hit stun. How? You have uh, you have the jump at a hit stun, you have roll. You also have just Barbaric War R2. I love that crouch out, the crouch one here. Oh, R2 is what you have to look out for on this one. If he gets the R2 combo off, it's a big deal. Going is, for the yes. R2 there with someone with the spacing of Bevan is uh, is an exercise in death, basically. An but... exercise in greed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Keep in mind, the Bevan's strength actually do deadly by poison. Ooh, Bevan's not it's... fighting on these R2s at all. He's playing spectacular. Get it? Right it? Biting Venomous Fang? That's funny. I like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we have the Dagakiba coming out for these really good L1s here, and they, we just still have access to the Barbaric Core R2, which would be very devastating if they are able to land it. <laughs> Claw, right hand, left oh hand. Oh my gosh. This calm, is fun. Calm, calm down. It's fine. <laughs> Still, the running R2s are actually legit. I believe you can get the combo R2, R2 on that. Ooh! Oh, ooh, big damage! The combos. This is very, very spooky. Oh, the sw that was a fast swap. Holy. Good lord, man. Nevin is just keeping the range the catch, the very catch is... well. I don't know how Frosty gets out of this one, I'll be honest with you. Bevan's just really good at roll catching and the health deficit is just so high maybe they maybe they even nice waited jump out. R2. oh the jump r2 was so big but still not the deadly poison proc that they want wow barely out of range on that one this is still fairly close i mean bevan does have the tier so oh, oh never the bleed 